Have you been recently requested to provide your AdSense tax information? If so, then this video is for you because in this video, I'm going to show you how to fill Google AdSense tax information for non-US persons. So if you're new to this channel, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. And without further ado, let's get started. The first thing you need to do is to make sure that you're signing into your Google AdSense account. So once you are signing into your Google AdSense account, you should get a notification which says your YouTube payments or the blog or website that you're operating are on hold as you've account issues to fix. So click on action and here you're going to be taken to the payment page here, which is your payment account, which is YouTube account Nigeria as I'm operating from a country outside USA. Simply come here and click on update and here you'll be able to manage your tax information. So simply click on add tax information and click on start form. Now for verification purpose, you need to sign in into your Google account again. Once you are signed in into your Google account, you're going to get the US tax info. To find the right tax form, please answer a few questions first. The IRS, which is the Internal Revenue Service, the US Tax Authority, requires the tax info be reported in letter A to Z or number. For accepted characters, use the letter only such as with regards to whatever it means. So what type of account is Mike and Okela, which is my name, it's an individual account. And then click on next. Are you a citizen or resident of the United States, which I am not? Click on no and then click on next. Here select W8 tax form type. Based on your previous selected answer, a W8 form is needed. W8 Ben. This phone is most commonly used by non-US individuals and would also be used to claim tax threats benefit. And WEECI, the form is mostly used by a non-US business entity or individual that earns income related to its US trade or business and has a US income tax return. So I'm going to click on the first one and then click on submit. In the next page, you have to provide your tax identification details, which includes the tax identity, address, tax treaty, activities and services performed in US, tax reporting, document review and clarity and sign. In the tax identity, your name, DBA which is optional, country and region of citizen, which I'm going to select Nigeria, which includes your foreign team that is optional and US IT or SSN which is also optional. Click on next. And here you're going to provide your address information. You can click here if it's a permanent residence address. Below this, you have country region of residence, which is Nigeria. The apartment and suite, which is optional. Suburb, city, postal code, and states. You can also select if the mailing address is the same as your permanent residence by clicking on this and then clicking on next. The next question you'll be required to answer is the tax treaty. Are you claiming a reduced rate of withholding under a tax treaty? You can click on no, which is US tax law may impose a 30% withholding tax on payments that are considered US source income. Or you can click on yes, residents of country region claiming treaty with the US. So Nigeria and US don't have a tax treaty. Click on no. And then click on next but for activities and services performed in us has the individual identified in the tax identity section perform any activity and services for google within us so no we haven't done that i'm going to click on no i clarify that the service provided to google or its affiliates will be performed solely outside the us and that any labor or capital including facility or other tools used to provide such services will be physically located outside the us so you can click on this and then click on next scroll down to the bottom and click on i accept the paperless delivery agreement click here and then get documents by mail if you want to get a document version by mail and then click on next in number six you're going to get a document preview in the document preview this is how your documents will be generated based on your provided information if you selected multiple income type, more than one form will be generated. Documents are generated in English to comply with the IRS, the US Tax Authority. If you want to view what the information you have provided looks like, click on this. And here you get a form version of what you have filled. Click on I confirm that I have reviewed the generated tax documents to the best of my knowledge and believe they are true. 
and then click on next so clarify and sign under penalties of page UID, i declare that you're going to have to read all through this once you are done reading this click on this on change and status affidavit click on this and then scroll down to the bottom your signature if you're the beneficial owner of the account you can click on yes i am the beneficial owner named in the tax identity section that you have provided otherwise if you're not the beneficial name on the account you can click on no i am not the beneficial owner name in the tax identity section so click on yes if you are the one and then click on submit now once you have followed these steps on how to fill google adsense tax information for non-us citizens successfully you should get an approval status on your dashboard so that is how you can add in your adsense tax information so thank you guys for watching this video on how to fill in google adsense tax information for non-us citizens and i hope you found this video helpful if you do find this video helpful do make sure to subscribe to this channel and have that post notification bell turn on i hope to see you guys in my next video